Hello everybody, welcome to an evening as an RA on duty. I am currently an RA at White Creek Apartments and tonight I'm on duty, so let's get to it. I'm headed into the office. Duty officially starts at 5 p.m., but I head in a little bit earlier to pick up my phone. We have three buildings, so one phone for each building, and tonight I'm on building C, so that's the phone I picked up, and then I texted into my supervisor. I had a little bit of time to kill before a staff meeting later, so I went on a walk to the Tamu Gardens, which are super close to the apartments, and when you're on duty, you have to be within 10 minutes of the apartment at all time, so this is super helpful to have. And this is the walk into the gardens and kind of just like an overview of everything. They are really, really pretty. There's all sorts of different flowers and plants and trees that you can look at and even a little look over the river. Um, I highly recommend going for their picnic or just to hang out. It's super pretty and they have tons of little features like that water and then these swinging chairs. So after my walk, I'm headed back to the apartments and I'm gonna go ahead and go into my staff meeting. Then after staff meeting, I make dinner and because I am a five-star chef, I made Kraft mac and cheese. And after dinner, I started duty rounds. So as an RA, we have to do two duty rounds a night. The first one has to be between eight and 10, and the second one has to fall somewhere after midnight. So I like to start around 11.45, so that I end a little bit after midnight. So I'm headed into building C, and the first thing I start with is the lobby. And then we're gonna go ahead and check all of the doors. Each building has about eight to 10 doors, and we have to check these card readers, make sure that only residents are able to swipe into the buildings and the doors are locked and secured. We also have to hold open the doors to make sure that the alarms are working so that if one's propped open, it'll work. So that's kind of what it sounds like. And then I'm gonna check the stairwells because some of them do have doors to the outside. So I have to make sure that those are secure as well. Then I'm going to go check each elevator and make sure that they are working. They can be called, they can be sent up. And then I'm gonna check the inside make sure there's nothing visibly wrong and that they are also working from within there. After this, I just go through the hallways and make sure everything's fine, shut any doors that shouldn't be open. And then I also head into the activity center where the office is again and make sure that that is secured and clean. Then I like to get started on my duty log, which is just a log of who's on duty, what buildings, and any important information. So first we start with facilities and nothing was damaged, so I can go ahead and check those. Same with fire life and safety, nothing was wrong with those, but if there was, I could let them know. And then I give some information about my duty rounds and that the activity center was fully secured and then it's ready to be submitted. So I did end up getting a call from a resident who had lost their ID card, so I had to head back to the activity center, which is currently locked, so you can only get in through swiping. Um, and I have to go back into the office, which is locked for anyone that does not work for the building. So I had to swipe into there. Turn on the lights, and then here's a little view of the office. So I went ahead and grabbed an LKN or lost key notice form, which we just have residents fill out with their information and we have to check it to just double check that they do in fact live here. Once they filled that in, I went ahead into the key room, which has all the keys for every single building. And each of these little things is one building, so A, B, and C. Then I went in and grabbed an extra access card that they rented out and left a little note for the office. And I made sure to turn off the lights and I shut the door completely so that nobody could get in if they don't work here. And then I headed back to my room and went to bed. Bye. So for documentation, I feel like this project went really well. It was definitely a little bit harder and more intricate than my first two especially because a lot of what I was doing was active and I was having to try to film that and keep it as steady as I possibly could. I also do not have the steadiest hands. I'm a very like 
not naturally shaky handed person. So that was a challenge for me to make sure that like the footage was actually like clear. Um, and then some of the editing was definitely hard because I was trying to leave in some of the video sounds and then cut out others and also add the timestamps. And then actually I edited the footage for the park. I actually edited it on Lightroom to make it pop a little more like the colors. So it may look very like bright and green, but the original's not like that. Um, it is that pretty in real life, but I just really wanted it to pop and be like a view. So I edited that a little bit as well. Um, but overall, I really did enjoy it. I liked the detail I tried to put into it, but overall I liked it and I thought it was very fun.